Hi, I'm Vanessa from SpeakEnglishWithVanessa.com. Are you ready to get dressed? Let's do it. Everyone wears clothes. I'm wearing clothes. I hope you're wearing clothes. Talking about your daily life like clothing is a great way to expand your vocabulary and really use English every day. So today I'd like to invite you on a journey with me to talk about 27 phrasal verbs related to clothing. Today, Dan, my husband, is going to be the model for all of the phrasal verbs that we talk about. I am very pregnant right now, and it's difficult for me to get into clothing, so I really appreciate his help. By the time you're watching this video, I've already had my baby, but right now I haven't, so thank you, Dan, for your help. Let's get started with the first category of clothing phrasal verbs. If a phrasal verb can be split, and a lot of these can, look for the blue pronoun so that you can see how to split the phrasal verb. For example, I put on the shirt or I put it on. Let's take a look at the first category. Buying, try on, get into, fit into. Dan is trying on this striped shirt. He already tried on a red one. Which one should he get? He tried it on. Do you think that Dan will be able to get into this shirt? He used to fit into it 30 years ago. Dressing. Put on, throw on, have on, take off. Dan puts on a hoodie because it's a little bit chilly outside today. He puts it on. He's late for work, so he's just going to throw on his hoodie and run out the door. He's throwing it on. Dan has had on his hoodie all day, even though it's spring. He had it on. After wearing his hoodie all day, he is finally ready to take it off. Closing. Zip up, button up, tuck in, roll up. Dan zips up his coat to get ready to go outside. He zips it up. He makes sure to button up his dress shirt carefully before his date with me. He buttons it up. After buttoning it up, it's time to tuck in his shirt. He tucks it in. It's warm this afternoon, so Dan decides to roll up his sleeves before going outside. He rolls them up. Fancy. Dress up, dress up like. Dan is really dressing up for this date. Do you think he's going to change his pants? Dan is dressed up like an annoying tourist. Notice the difference between dress up, which is fancy, and dress up like, which is to imitate the way someone dresses. Weather. Bundle up, wrap up, strip down. Don't forget to bundle up before you go outside. Make sure you wrap up. It's cold out there. When Dan got inside, it was so hot that he needed to strip down. Ah, that feels better. Old. Wear out. Dan wore his favorite shorts so much that now they are completely worn out. He wore them out. Shoes. Slip on, slip off, lace up, break in, kick off. Dan slips on his shoes before he goes outside. He slips them on. He quickly slips them off every time he goes inside the house. Dan is lacing up his hiking boots, and then he ties the laces into a double knot. He laces them up. These are new boots, so Dan needs to break them in for a few days. Dan kicks off his hiking boots after a long hike. Ah, oh, that feels good. He kicks them off. Modifying. Let out. Take in. This shirt is a little too small. 
Dan needs to get it let out if he wants to wear it comfortably. The tailor will let it out. Dan really likes these pants, but they're too big. Maybe he will get them taken in professionally. The tailor will take them in. Tidying. Fold up, hang up, put away. After washing his favorite cat tank top, Dan folds it up carefully. Now that this video is finished, Dan hangs up his coat and puts it away in the closet. He hangs it up. Now I'd like to give you a little test. Do you think you can fill in the blank with the correct phrasal verb? I'm going to read a sentence with a blank, and I want you to think about which phrasal verb would be best in the sentence. And then I'm going to read the sentence a second time with the correct phrasal verb. I'd like you to also try to read these sentences out loud with me. It's going to be a great chance to remember the phrasal verbs because you're speaking out loud and also you're trying to think of which one's the best fit. All right, let's get started. After going to Paris, Dan felt inspired to more often instead of wearing sweatpants and a hoodie every day. After going to Paris, Dan felt inspired to dress up more often instead of wearing sweatpants and a hoodie every day. He went to the store to some classy shirts. What do you think goes in the blank? Hmm. He went to the store to try on some classy shirts. First, he, his hoodie that was after years of daily use. First, he took off his hoodie that was worn out after years of daily use. As he was the first colored shirt, he took a look in the mirror. As he was buttoning up the first colored shirt, he took a look in the mirror. Vanessa was going to love his new style. <laughs> he carefully the shirts and came out of the dressing room to look at the shoe selection. He carefully hung up the shirts and came out of the dressing room to look at the shoe selection. He some brown dress shoes, but all of the shoes seemed too stiff and uncomfortable. He laced up some brown dress shoes, but all the shoes seemed too stiff and uncomfortable. It would take too long to... So Dan decided just to buy the shirts. It would take too long to break them in. So Dan decided to just buy the shirts. Half classy was better than not classy at all. <laughs> all right, now I'm gonna read the story out loud all together one more time. I want you to try to read it out loud with me to exercise your pronunciation, to challenge your memory, and just to be able to use English. All right, let's read that full story. After going to Paris, Dan felt inspired to dress up more often instead of wearing sweatpants and a hoodie every day. He went to the store to try on some classy shirts. First, he took off his hoodie that was worn out after years of daily use. As he was buttoning up the first colored shirt, he took a look in the mirror. Vanessa was going to love his new style. He carefully hung up the shirts and came out of the dressing room to look at the shoe selection. He laced up some brown dress shoes, but all the shoes seemed too stiff and uncomfortable. It would take too long to break them in, so Dan decided to just buy the shirts. Half classy was better than not classy at all. And now I have a question for you. In the comments, let me know, can you use these phrasal verbs to describe what you did to get dressed today? You might say, well, I just slipped on my shoes and threw on a t-shirt. Or I had to get dressed up for a presentation today. Let me know in the comments and thank you so much for learning English with me. I'll see you again next Friday for a new lesson here on my YouTube channel. Bye. The next step is to download my free ebook. Five Steps to Becoming a Confident English Speaker. You'll learn what you need to do to speak confidently and fluently. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more free lessons. Thanks so much. Bye.